So today we're going to try to fix a Mazda with a rough idle. Um, there's a service bulletin for this Mazda uh, that applies to the Mazda, uh, lots of Mazda models. Um, it has a very rough idle when you slow down or when you uh, stop it wants to stall out. As you can see it doesn't want to quite, quite go. There it goes. Um, generally when you're driving it it's okay but when you come to a complete stop um, you hear it revs okay when you come to a complete stop sometimes it wants to run rough um, or stall especially when it gets hot starting to do a little bit now so the uh, factory sent a service um, bulletin out uh, saying that when this happens, um, I did run a OBD2 scan check on it and it came up with um, some intake and fuel sensor related things which leads me to believe that it probably is the throttle body. Um, the service bulletin says that the throttle body gets dirty uh, and it needs to be cleaned. So I'm going to show you how to take care of that now. First thing we're going to do um, is get out some basic tools that I think we're going to need. 8 millimeter socket, an extension, 10 millimeter socket, flat head and Phillips head. Um, this is the actual service bulletin. Uh, the first thing it says to do of course is disconnect the battery um, you know and then uh, remove the air hose from the throttle body. So that's where we're going to start at. So I'm going to use some monkey butt. Incidentally, you can see up here uh, the OBD interface adapter that I use to check the engine codes. Uh, then I reset the engine codes. That way we can see if any of these things pop back up when we're finished. Um, either way, this is a really cheap fix. So I think it's a good place to start if you have this problem with the Mazda stalling or idling rough. First thing I want to do is take my 10 millimeter, put on my extension, and go get that not battery to touch off. the positive. going to loosen the negative of the battery. We're going to disconnect the negative of the battery. Slides right out. Tuck it behind here so it's not touching. Now our battery is not grounded so we have no power through the system. Uh, next thing we're going to do is focus on the throttle body. Um, the service manual says you take the tube, the air tube off. If On this car you can just tug this cover and it comes right off. Easy to get. Whew, dirty easy to get out of your way. Um, next thing you want to do is work on getting this tube off. Uh, so you can see you have a 10 millimeter and a 10 millimeter and a, probably an 8 millimeter. This one seems to be loose. This one's almost loose. Now that one's loose. This one's loose. Sometimes they've been on here for a long time so these boots get stubborn but you want to be careful not to tear them. Switch to my Phillips head. Back this off a little easier. Now I'll get my flat head and I'll get right up under this just to loosen it around the way. Same with this side. Loosen it. Try to pull that off. Just like that. And on this side, we're going to uh, same thing. Just sort of pull it off once we get it loosened. 
This one has a little notch on it right there where the arrow is, things to remember. I'll loosen this clamp a little more. enough Just that one come and there she comes now this we don't have to do anything with we're just going to tuck it up out of the way like so what we're probably going to do is go ahead while we had it off and we'll clean the mass airflow sensor while we're at it um, these are delicate so you want to be careful but um, we'll get to that a little bit later uh, we'll also since we have it this far off We'll go ahead and change the air filter. Um, so the air filter box is right here. The mass airflow sensor is right up there. Um, so we'll go ahead and change the air filter. As you see, it's pretty dirty. Um, next thing the things we want to do is get this throttle body off the chamber. Um, now we're going to take this wire off. Uh, and the reason we just put our screwdriver under this little plastic clip pull up and then try to wiggle it out Stuck on there pretty good Oops so we lost the red safety clip uh, not to worry uh, anyway we got the safety clip out of there uh, next thing you want to do is push in on this little little guy right here and just pry out gently with the screwdriver and you can get this to come right off just pivot it around once again tuck it out of your way um, also it mentions that you do not unhook the water lines that go through this for cooling uh, it says you can leave those on there while you do this procedure. I'm going to take an 8 millimeter, put it right on here, break it. Rid of that extension. Number four. Now we should be clear to gently take this off. Just wiggle it a little bit, comes right off of there. Now before I go too far, I want to examine everything. And it is really filthy dirty in there. You can see it's filthy caked. Okay, so we're back for the store, uh, from the store. And I got some stuff to clean the mass airflow sensor, and I got some stuff to clean the throttle body, and I got a new air filter. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a couple rags and just uh, clean this when it's dry. Um, so I'm just going to kind of wipe in there best I can, get all the gooky stuff out. Majority of it as it's dry. Now 
I've wiped this out uh, pretty good um, with the rag uh, I'm gonna go to a little bit more detail I'm gonna take the dirty rag and I'm gonna stick it down in here a little ways just don't get any more debris in there um, then the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, use another piece of rag now the service bulletin says you are not supposed to spray you're not supposed to spray here where the butterfly valve meets so you shouldn't spray in there at all and so the chemicals don't affect this I'm actually going to take out the seal throttle body seal there's a little notch right there I'm just going to take a little pick pull it out gently all the way around and I'm going to clean this carefully when I go to put it back in make sure to take this out I was going to get a new one they weren't available at the auto parts store uh, they were like four or five dollars but it was order so I'm just going to clean it and reuse it make sure it's okay I'll reuse I'll clean that and put it back in when I'm done but I'll make sure I clean this groove and everything safety first Stuff will spray around when it goes in your eyes. Um, so I'm going to put some on a cloth. Saturate this cloth. Spray some down in here. Then I'm going to wipe it and clean it. starting to come off now you'll see that some spots have a pretty thick deposit on there that don't want to come off so what I do sometimes I'll use an old toothbrush and I will saturate this toothbrush some of the fluid or spray a little bit of the fluid down in there um, and then I'll use a toothbrush to sort of scrub it on the plate. So I'm getting down to the end of it, saturating the cloth just like this, opening the butterfly valve a little bit from the other side with my hands, swiping it out from both sides gently. I'm not spraying directly into the throttle body with the spray, I'm saturating the cloth. Now the gasket I took inside uh, while I stopped the camera and I cleaned it with just soap and water, dish soap and water uh, to make sure it was clean, make sure there was no little tears or anything in it. It looks pretty good. There's these two little placement spacers um, that you'll find that'll go right in this spot right here. So we're going to fit those spacers in there just like that. Work our way around to make sure they go in the little grooves. Make sure that's down in its space. Now we're back with the bolts. Clean them up. Get the throttle body back to where it goes. Set her in like that. Of course, finger tight. Always finger tight to make sure the thread right. Get a couple of the easy ones first. about 10 12 pounds it's about all you need on these
that should do it for that part uh, next we uh, put our plug back on looks pretty clean so we're just gonna stick it back on I lost the little red safety pin but the, uh, the spring loaded part uh, should hold it on just fine next we're gonna do our little and that would complete our throttle body um, cleanup as a service manual said um, then you would just go ahead and put this back on however uh, instead of doing that since I have it all apart I'm gonna do one extra step and I'm gonna use this mass airflow sensor cleaner um, since I already have this off it's gonna be pretty simple we're just going to um, clean the mass airflow sensor there's a couple little wires up in there that you would normally clean out with it um, you can spray it from both sides uh, I'm going to cover up my freshly cleaned throttle body and I'm going to use a little of the mass airflow sensor spray once again safety glasses on um, spray a little on the rag before I get started and uh, just wipe it I'm not wiping the wire I'm just wiping the dust off I'm not gonna wipe the wire in there it's very delicate you want to be real careful with these connections I'm just gonna wipe around this outside clean it off just real quickly same thing from the inside just around the outside edge Now I'm going to take some of the mass airflow and now I'm just going to spray it. So before I button it all up, last thing I'm going to do is uh, cover up this mass airflow sensor gently. I'm going to just blow this out. There's a lot of debris in there. Next we're going to put this air filter in up get all my rags out of the way set her down in there carefully I line this up make sure it's uh, in the right spot lined up press down a little bit a lot of times when you make these clips you just need to press down a little bit like that That one's been a little stubborn. I'll loosen this one up to try to get that one in first. There we go. Oops, lost a piece of my glove there. Okay, now we got the new air filter in place. Now it's time to get this guy back where it belongs. As I remember, uh, there's a little notch right there that lines up with this arrow. So we're going to get ready to set that on. But at the same time, we're going to try to put both of these first two on at the same time. Kind of like that. These ones will line up, that groove will line up with that as we get it on there. There she goes. That's a good girl. We got that lined up with that notch. This one lined up right over here with this notch. Probably be twisted just a pinch. This one, I check, I always feel, especially this one, I always feel around the bottom to make sure it's lined up with my fingers. Let 
those clips should be at the ends generally like that next we're going to go back with the 10 millimeter or a screwdriver will work fine too whatever you like good and snug so we're all good on all this clips are on wires hooked up hoses are all back where they belong next thing the last thing we're going to do is we're going to um, hook up our negative battery cable back there